Well, hey, you guys. So the one thing that I love about money and personal finance is that a little bit of legwork on the front end has power to create such long-term success. Now, learning the basics and having good money habits and consistency, all of that is so crucial. And before you know it, you'll be making more progress than you ever thought was possible. And it might sound cheesy, but it's true. And this is just one of the many reasons why I love my job, because I'm always blown away by how people are able to transform their finances once they have access to the proven tools they need to actually let their money work for them. But there are a few tricks of the trade that you can't just put on autopilot. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So there are five numbers, percentages, rates, whatever you want to call them, that are really important to keep your eye on. I'll explain what these are and how you can leverage them to build wealth when you track them consistently. All right, the first number that you need to track in order to build wealth should also be your first step on your financial journey, and that is debt. So before you start tracking Zillow or CarMax or the stock market, your number one priority should be looking at how much debt that you have and how to eliminate it completely as quickly as possible. So keeping in mind the word tracking there is something that is active, it is moving, and your amount of debt is going to change over the course of time for better or for worse. But as you start paying it down, obviously that's for the better. And so again, it's this idea that you're saying, hey, I'm going to know the amount of money I have that I owe to people, my debt, and I'm gonna have a plan to start paying that off. But the longer you put that off, the longer it's going to take you to pay off debts because of interest that you're continuing to pay, even some late fees if you're late paying those bills. So to get started with this, I recommend doing something called a debt snowball. This is a method that we've talked about for so long, and this helps you build momentum when it comes to paying off your debt. And this is where you're gonna list out all of your debts, smallest to largest, regardless of the interest rate, pay minimum payments on everything and attack that smallest step first. Which brings me to the number two number that you should be tracking when you're building wealth, and that is savings. So when it comes to an emergency fund, this is crucial. I always tell people to get a $1,000 emergency fund first and foremost. And then once you're out of debt, you can bump that up to three to six months of expenses. Now, once that's all done, you have no debt, you have a fully funded emergency fund, then you're gonna be looking at your life and you're gonna wanna know those numbers to say, hey, do I need to be saving up to replace a car? Do I need to be saving up for maybe a vacation we wanna take? Am I saving up for things like retirements and accounts that are out there that I won't see for maybe a few more decades? Whatever it is, you want to be able to actively track your progress over time to know what is in your savings because this is a really crucial number because that emergency fund is there to catch you when life happens, but also things like sinking funds is going to help you live a lifestyle that you want, but doing it the right way. All right, the third number you should be tracking is something that applies to almost everyone on earth, and that is your income. Your income is your largest wealth building tool. It is the thing that is going to help you build wealth over time because when your income comes in and you don't have half of it because it's going out to debt payments, it's hard to use the remaining income, not just for your life, but in order to invest and do things to help you build wealth. So when you have your entire paycheck working for you, that is so crucial. That's why paying off debt is really important, but it is important to know how much money you have coming in, knowing that number and where it's all going. So a monthly budget does this, you guys. It is so crucial. It is a plan to help you when it comes to your spending, if you need to put money aside for savings, like we talked about earlier, all of it. But none of this is possible without that income. Your income is really crucial. And and I can give you one piece of advice when it comes to tracking your income because it's all about balance. And most of us have had a desire, you know, to make more money or maybe you're like, oh my gosh, I wanna, you know, do bigger and better things. And listen, that desire is not a bad thing. And I think it's great to be motivated and to work hard and to earn money and provide for yourself, to be giving and being generous, but make sure all of that is going alongside this idea of contentment as well. Because I hear a lot of young professionals say that everyone should be job hopping every year because if you move jobs, then you actually have a better chance of making more money and all of this. I get the drive behind this and studies have shown that moving around to different companies increases your salary by a larger percentage than just staying with one employer forever. But I don't necessarily think that that's the right mindset to have all the time. Because again, in life, there are pros and cons to everything. And if you're really happy with your current job, then stay. I think it's rare to find a place that you love when it comes to work and it aligns with your values, your skill sets, your career aspirations. But with that being said, 
pay attention to your Ray's history. And if you haven't had one in a while, talk to your leader about that. Even do some market research and know, hey, what are some comparable roles even in my city? And make sure that you're earning enough money to be pushing your financial goals forward. Also that you're you know, getting paid market value, I think is really important. But again, you wanna be doing all of this. Those things are so good and so great, but sometimes we could just like, we wanna claw for more and more and more and more. And again, sometimes that motivation isn't necessarily bad, but make sure that you do have a level of peace and contentment too. So I think familiarizing yourself with numbers is gonna really help you know appropriately, hey, with my income, am I where I should be? And I think that's a really crucial question to ask yourself. All right, the fourth number that you should be tracking in order to build wealth is something that's related to your income and works in tandem with it. Like I mentioned earlier, I said I would circle back on this, but that is investing. So we touched on this a little bit, but again, once your emergency fund is funded of three to six months of expenses, investing is a really crucial number to know. And that is 15% of your income should be going towards building wealth. And these are gonna be things like a Roth IRA or a 401k at work, but these things long-term are going to be making money while you sleep. I mean, it's amazing. Compound interest is a really beautiful thing, but your work doesn't end once you just start investing. Make sure that you increase those percentages over time once you've paid off your house and everything. So for example, again, let's just say you had no mortgage, uh, your kid's college was taken care of, everything is good. Then you wanna be increasing your giving and your investing. And I think at that point, it's a really crucial part of your life because it's gonna probably be later on when you're a little bit older. So you're gonna be able to throw some more money because retirement is coming sooner than you think and you wanna be prepared for it. So again, that 15% is a really crucial number to know and it will increase over time. But also I think it's fun to look at your progress when it comes to investing. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check out our Ramsey Investment Calculator. It's really easy to use and it can be really motivating to know where you're headed when it comes to retirement. So plug some of those numbers in. Have some fun with it. All right, the fifth number that you need to track is actually three numbers in one, and it all has to do with your mortgage. So you wanna pay attention to this percentage, 25%. Your housing costs, like your rent, mortgage, insurance, HOA fees, should all be about 25% of your take-home pay. So this percentage is really crucial because we wanna be able to free up your other 75% of your income to work for you. So whether that's investing or saving or giving, whatever it is, so that your house isn't taking up so much of your income. Next, I have another percentage for you to track and that is interest rates. So interest rates are in the sixes and sevens right now as we're filming this, but they could drop soon. I mean, who knows? We don't know. So be watching those numbers because if you're buying a house recently, yeah, your interest rate is higher than it was a few years ago, but maybe you can refinance down to a lower rate when rates start to drop. So mortgage rates are constantly changing. So again, keep your eye out on that. And then the final number that you wanna track is principal versus interest when it comes to your monthly mortgage payments. So the quicker you can pay money towards the principal of what you owe, the actual amount of money that you borrowed from the bank to buy your home, the better off you're going to be. So making a couple of extra mortgage payments every single year can actually shorten your timeline drastically and can save you thousands of dollars. But what you wanna do when you pay that is to make sure to tell the mortgage company, put this extra payment towards the principal. And again, it's really, really key here because when you're paying down that principal, it's going to cause you to get out of that mortgage so much faster. And the idea of paying off your house, I know it can sound so weird and it sounds so crazy, but people are doing it, you guys. So it's actually really impressive. So run some of those numbers and look at it because it is really, really crucial. Now the true wealth building power is in the details. So you wanna keep track of everything going on in your life when it comes to your money. And every dollar is one of the best ways to do that. So this is a great budgeting app to help you keep track of your paycheck and know what is happening in your life. So you can go to everydollar.com slash Rachel and create your custom budget for free and start making progress today. And if you haven't checked out my episode on easy ways to pay off your mortgage early, make sure to do that because that's so, so important, you guys. All right, remember to take control of your money and create a life you love. <laughs>